Five Reasons Someone Might Be Envious of a Devotee by Krishna's Mercy Tulsi Raghubar Sevak hi khal datat man maakhi Bajraj ke bal kahi lava dikhavat aakhi Quote, Tulsi says that bad people with anger in their minds scold the devotees of Rama in the manner of the quail showing the eye to the child of the eagle. Dohavli, 144 1. Because they sit quietly. Just look at them. Sitting quietly over there. They don't bother anybody. They don't require external devices for stimulation of the mind. They refer to such needs as artificial. Please. It makes me sick. I don't think they are anything special. It is some trick they are trying to pull. They think they are better than everyone else pretending to be so peaceful. They don't engage in arguments, either. It's ridiculous. 2. Because they have a restricted diet. Just look at them. They can't even be normal vegetarians, like other people. Oh no, these people are special, you see. They stay away from onions and garlic, too. Dude, like what else is there to eat? You won't be able to order anything from a restaurant, even if they specialize in Indian food. The taste will be gone. Trust me. They think they are better than everyone else. They don't really say it, but that's the vibe I get. That they are living simply with their rice and beans, taking milk. They say that they honor food instead of enjoy it, because of something called prasadam. 3. Because they are always analyzing. Just look at them. Always talking philosophy. Always analyzing the long-term implications. They talk about life and death all the time. They focus on the spirit soul, which is supposedly the true mark of identity. Come on. Just be real for a second. Get your head out of the clouds. Get back to reality. Be a little practical. These people are the worst. 4. Because they have no enemies. Just look at them. Sitting there, all friendly. They greet everyone with a smile. They say they wish well for everyone, since that is supposedly the outlook of the person they worship. They say that God is always in bliss, Ananda, and that He is wishing well for every living being. I don't know. They are not believable. How are you not mad at people? How do you not have at least some enemies? I think these people are really evil on the inside. Their kindness is a facade. A false front. Stay away, I tell you. Rameti Prathito Loke Gunwan Satyavan Shuchiya Vishalaksho Mahabahu Sarva Bhuthite Rata Quote, My husband Rama is famous throughout the world. He is pure, truthful, and very gentle. He is mighty armed, has wide eyes, and is always busy working for the welfare of all living beings, Sarvbhutahitrata. Dot. Sita Devi speaking to Ravana, Valmiki Ramayana, Aranyakand, 47.11 5. Because of their firm resolve Just look at them. All dedicated to their chanting of the holy names. They are on some streak, I believe. Every day for the past twenty-something years they have been following a specific routine. They refer to it as numerical strength. I could do that. Anyone else could, also. But who cares about numbers? Who is so worried about following routine? Why not live a little? These people say they will never stop worshipping the Supreme Lord, even if offered millions of dollars to turn away. That is madness. Take the money. Buy a mansion. Get a life. Stop being foolish. Yeshatva antakta papan. Janana punya karmanam. Te dvandva mohanir mukta. Bhajante ma dridhavrata. Quote, persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life, whose sinful actions are completely eradicated, 
and who are freed from the duality of delusion, engage themselves in my service with determination. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 7.28 Goswami Tulsidas says that such envy, with accompanying harsh words, sourced in a mind full of anger, makes no impact on the person dedicated in service to Sri Rama. The comparison is to the quail giving the evil eye to the child of the eagle. The parent is right there. Nothing can harm the child. The quail will not be able to do anything. The intrusion begins and ends with the stare. The adult eagle is standing by, ready to protect. That protection will involve force that cannot be overcome by aggressors. In the same way, the derisive words make no impact on the person dedicated to the Supreme Lord. The words are just that, sound. Sri Rama is protecting the entire time. He is otherwise neutrally situated. He typically does not choose sides. Samohan Sarva Bhuteshu Name Dveshosti Na Priya Ye Bhajanti Tu Ma Bhaktya Mai Te Teshu Chape Aham Quote, I envy no one, nor am I partial to anyone. I am equal to all. But whoever renders service unto me in devotion is a friend, is in me, and I am also a friend to him. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 9.9 .9. This means that there is nothing to fear. When lacking pure God consciousness, the tendency is go the way of the crow. Look for faults in others. Criticize unnecessarily. Act out on envy in order to feel better. The swan-like devotees have no interest in the temporary, in duality, in putting others down. Rather, they always see the amazing potency of Rama distributed throughout the entire creation. In closing, through creation distributed, by original energy contributed, which Sri Rama the Source, known in allegiance's course, Despite derogatory words to receive, fixed in resolve to believe, and path of devotion bright, quail never the eagle to fight.